In continuation to the previous course on structural properties of nodes, we will focus now on the subgraph properties and wall network properties. At the end, we will infer some distribution and patterns of networks. So in the subgraph properties, we will treat of six main parts, but three in this first part. First part. Components, n click and caplex, CACOR and MCOR. We can define a connected component when all the nodes are linked to another through a path. So at least through a path, so from every node you can reach all the other points, the other nodes, and there's no connection outside the subgraph. For example, here the graph has two components, two different components, and here there are isolated nodes which we can consider are as single components. Beside, we can define a clique, which is a maximally complete subgraph. Every node is linked to the other one directly. The end clicks relax these conditions, and we define a maximal path that individual are connected to all the other one directly or indirectly, with no more than n link paths. For example, a one click is a click, so direct link to all the other nodes. A two click, you can have two paths to reach from one node to the other one. Here for for this direction or this direction for this link. A two click can can have another kind of aspect, like a star for here. A star can always be uh, a kind of click, a two click. The same for three click, there's different kind of three click and four click and so on. Now on the caplex, we relax not on the path, but on the uh, the number of linkages every node can have. So in the caplex, we relax the uh, uh, the for each node. Each node is linked to all but k of the individual of the group. So a uh, one plex is a click. So all uh, a node is linked to all the other one except itself. In the example here, we have a, a one-plex, so a complete graph, a two-plex, um, so here with six uh, vertices. Um, in the case of one-plex, each vertex has five relations. In two-plex, each vertex or node have four relations at least, and in three-plex, all the nodes have at least three relations. One can mix and click, uh, so minimum paths, with caplex relaxing several links. Another kind of selection is also the selection on nodes degree value. Uh, so the CACOR is this, this kind of selection, but actually it is a recursive process um, removing the nodes with a degree of less than k. So here we've got a, a graph at the center. If we define the one core, so all the nodes must have at least a degree of one. So we remove the two nodes here which have no connection. With the two core, we relax again uh, from this um, uh, network uh, with the degree of two. So here we remove all the nodes we've got uh, who, which have the degree of one. But this one, for example, if we remove uh, the other one here, uh, it remains with only a degree of one. So it is removed as well. So it is in this way that this process, it is a, a, a recursive process. And 
These uh, CACO have a nested property. The four core is included in the three core. The three core is the two core and two core in one core. Now we can have also a selection on the age values. So we have a weighted graph with a value associated to every link. We have the distribution here of the different uh, values of the linkages and we can define a threshold. So we can uh, consider to remove or to ignore all the, the ages with a value below the threshold, one and two, here in blue. So we remove them and we obtain some other core which we can call the M core. So in this part we saw several basic selection of components. First, the complete subgraph with all nodes are linked each other, so it is really very dense. And click, uh, we relax uh, the condition with the minimal geodesic distance between nodes. Caplex, we relax the condition with a minimal degree of the nodes, n minus k. The car core, we operate a selection procedure recursively removing nodes with a degree less than k, and m-core, we select on a minimal edge value m.